I'm going to try and have a better day than I did yesterday, but holy shit, was yesterday a grouchy day. Hey everybody, today I am continuing my plan as you go month. It is Wednesday, April 4th, question mark? I think it's the 4th. I have no idea what day it is anymore. And this month, I am showing you how I plan every single day, the whole month of April, videos every day, showing you how I plan, because that's what Plan As You Go month is. This week, at least, I am giving the Bullet Planner a try. I am trying to combine my usual style of an Erin Condren hourly planner and my regular bullet journal into one book. And I will tell you about halfway through this week, I'm not feeling so hot about it. Like I'm evaluating. I'll talk about it more as the video goes on because I want to just get jumping into it. I can talk while I plan. I don't want to just talk and then plan. I don't want to have a three minute long introduction and blah, blah, blah. I know how people hate that. I've seen the threads on the internet, so I'm not going to go for it today. I will try and multitask, something I am not always so great at, but we will see. So the first thing I'm doing is going into my regular bullet journal that I have used previously, and I'm going to continue to use, I'm sure, at some point, and I am going to fill in my pain tracker. As you can see, yesterday was not a great day for me, both in terms of just in general mood and also I wasn't feeling good like all day. Heading into my monthly, I need to add some, a new appointment that I have on April 16th and then I need to check all my shit and fill up my habits because that's what I do every day. And I will say overall, I love this monthly setup. I also need to take a quick second and go block the sun because things are starting to get blown out. And unlike Elton John, I do not want the sun to shine down on me. Figuring shit out with the weather is so interesting. Anyway, maybe it's not interesting. It's interesting to me. <laughs> so I got to add appointment. And I will say that of everything so far in this planner, this style of like monthly calendar is something I really like. Except now I have to put something in that's work related and there's no room on that day. So I'm gonna put it on the other side even though it's work related because it's my fucking calendar and I can do what I want. I have one appointment today and other than that, I just need to get shit done as per usual and I was supposed to get a lot of shit done yesterday and I didn't because I was feeling shitty. Shitty, 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 bang, bang. So it's time to take a look at my habits and get those filled out for yesterday and the start of today. So as you can see, some of my habits are going better than others. I did start the 100 day challenge. I saw some questions about it in the comments yesterday. If you don't know what it is, I will link the website down below, the 100daychallenge.org. But what it is, is a challenge that is hosted every year where for 100 days you do something creative. You pick the same thing, type of creative thing, and then you do it every day for 100 days. And ideally you document it on Instagram. One of the founders is doing 100 days of little animations and she has her own hashtag for that and she's posting those. I'm doing 100 days of surprise flowers where I drop some color on the page and then create flowers out of that without going in with some preconceived notion of what the flowers are going to look like. I suggested to somebody in my group yesterday that they do 100 days of haikus or dirty limericks and I think that that's a fantastic idea and somebody should start with that. And if you didn't start yesterday, you can still start right up. Like people are going to join in all the time. The idea is to be creative every day, something I am a big proponent of. I got to stop rambling. I said I was going to multitask in this video and now we're on this week. So I'm going to start with my challenges. I guess I'm going to go over here and start with Eric Cartman. I am really not loving this so far. I'm hoping that as I get deeper into this challenge, I won't hate it so much. Last month with Homer Simpson, I felt like it looked like he was fucking stoned. So I'm hoping that maybe this month I will figure my shit out as I go along. Nope. I'm still not loving it, but c'est la vie. Okay, next we have Jersey Boys. Fun fact, I have a huge love for Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. I should have listened to it yesterday because listening to certain songs when I'm in a bad mood perks me up. And today or yesterday, whatever day it was, I was just not feeling it. And then for today's prompt with my oh so cute doodles, it is rain, which is something we're supposed to get tomorrow.
All right, my challenges are done for the day and I need to start taking care of this week. So today, as you can see, I just have one appointment. It is a hangout with my patrons at two o'clock and I've got two hours for that. It usually takes about an hour, but then what I'll probably do after that is wrap up some work. I have some things I need to do today for, I need to do today, both work-related and church-related. So I'm gonna block those times out and probably just block out a lot of time for working in the afternoon as well. My kids will be home early from school today, but I'll let them have like, like a day where they can just choose what they want to do rather than us hanging out because I really need to get caught up. So I've got my day blocked out with a bunch of work, some time to finish the stuff for church I need to finish today, and then family time in the evening. And hopefully I'll be able to stick to that and walk away from my desk. But it's hard when you know you have a shit ton of things on your plate and you can't sort of go through them. I'm still not really ready to start blocking out the rest of the week yet. I, it's just, I'm trying to see if I can start thinking that way ahead of time, but it's a brain shift for me and I'm not really making it. Like this spread, I think using it this way, if I do give this bullet journal another week, I don't think I'm going to use it this way next week. I don't think I'm going to block out my time. I think I'm going to try and figure, I mean, I may block out my time, but maybe not in this method. I almost feel like having the 24 hour time period is a little limited for me because I have all this extra space I'm not using, which is funny because when I first saw it, I was like, finally, somebody who offers an entire 24-hour day and an hourly rather than just what they deem the usable hours of the day. But now I'm kind of struggling with it. So I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to stick with this for another week yet. But right now, I'm very ambivalent about this spread. On the other hand, this spread is starting to work for me. And maybe it's because I'm using it much the same way I did with my bullet journal. I'm just in a much smaller space. I did not come back in here and check a lot of things off in the afternoon, but I know I didn't get a lot accomplished. So I'm going to check that right now. And then I'm going to start making my to-do list for today. No, actually, it looked like I checked off everything I did yesterday. So again, a lot of things I didn't get accomplished. Got to take care of a lot of this today. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make up my to-do list and we'll talk about it as soon as I'm done. I also didn't check my blood pressure yesterday. Motherfucker. So as you can see, I have migrated a bunch of things over from here because I haven't gotten them done yet. And I just, I need to, like, I, I have to get some of this shit done today. I don't know how to make myself be in a better mood. I don't know if maybe my bad mood is compounded by the fact that the planner I'm using is not something I'm used to. I have no idea. I know that right now my feelings on this planner are very, very mixed as we're halfway through this week. I'm actually okay with this setup. This setup isn't bothering me. This setup... The way I'm doing it, I like doing my lettering and my doodling here, but this time blocking is feeling kind of fucking useless to me. Like it's working sort of to see how to structure my day, but it's just, it's maybe it's not dinging all the things I need out of it. With an Aaron Condren, I usually decorate and it makes me feel really creative and good to do that. And doing this just feels kind of like wah, wah. I don't know. The monthly spread though, and this, this spread seem to be working okay for me. It's this that's tripping me up. On top of that, I really hate that the month is all the way up in the front, but I guess we're going to have to just keep going and seeing. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with it. If I do, I'm going to try something radically different for that weekly spread, which is something I'm thinking about right now. How do you pull yourself out of a funk when you're having a bad day? What is it that you do? What's your go-to? I didn't tell you after I'm done filming this video, I'm going to blast my ass some Dawn from Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, have a big old cup of coffee and dig into my to-do list. That's just what I'm I'm going to have to do today to try and flip this shit so I don't spend all day feeling grouchy and not happy as well as feeling crummy. Like I'm going to feel crummy regardless. I might as well try and improve my mood. So let me know down in the comments how you cope when you have a shitty day. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.